Has anyone ever said to you, it's more fun in the Philippines? Whether you have or will move to the Philippines, one question you may ask is, what exactly is there to do? The thrills and excitement of being in a brand new country can last several weeks or months. But as time goes by, what lifestyle options do you have? And more importantly, how much will this cost you? Okay, so first of all, you need to know your options. The first category is hobbies. The second is social interactions, and the third is new experiences. We will be speaking about each of these categories in one second, but what I need to tell you is that for expats, building a social life, doing new things and experiencing new experiences will differ from area to area. Some areas of the Philippines are not very touristic, so if you are somebody who is looking for an expat group for example, you may find that the larger cities offer more opportunities. So as we spoke about, the first category is hobbies. Basketball, karaoke and general fitness are some of the most popular hobbies for local Filipinos. So you will find plenty of these types of hobbies in most areas. So starting a hobby such as golf or something that you are interested in at least once a week is the first step to bring us to the second category, which is social interaction. Meetup.com is a community website for hosting events. In the Philippines, there are over 31 independent groups with just under 23,000 members on this platform. The great thing about Meetup and other similar websites is that you don't need to find a group you are interested in as you can even host your own. For example, when I was in Manila, I was part of three amazing groups. The first group was a Friday morning breakfast club, the second was a cryptocurrency discussion group, and the third was a party group. The types of people who went to these events had a mixture of ages and nationalities. Unfortunately, as tourism levels are slightly lower in the Philippines compared to other popular Southeast Asian countries such as Thailand, you will find there are not as many events. However, other meetups and gatherings are happening all the time which is commonly published on Facebook, but this will depend on whereabouts in the Philippines you plan to live. The third category taps into new experiences. If you are located in Cebu, heading down to Oslob to see the whale sharks or heading to the west of the island to see the sea turtles is a fantastic experience. The wonderful thing about the Philippines is that it is abundant in nature, and if you are the sort of person who enjoys seeing the natural wonders, you will not get bored easily. However, over the past few months, from the emails that I've received, it's clear that boredom is a common concern for some expats. This boredom phase is common if foreign residents find themselves in a repetitive cycle. Even if you find yourself in the most adventurous city, you will find that boredom creeps in if you have a repetitive lifestyle. And from my years of living abroad, I've seen firsthand how easy it is for some some expats to stop growing and live a level of comfort. You see, in the Philippines, the lifestyle is incredibly convenient. Anything that you would ever want or need can be obtained very easily, and it's very common in some situations for us to stop growing as a character. And this is why new meetups, having fun, and experiencing new experiences is important, whether you are new to the Philippines or you're a long-term resident. In all honesty, some of the best things that you will ever experience in the Philippines are completely free. For most, building a social life and having fun in the Philippines costs very little. Some budget less than $70 a month, and they are out nearly every other day. So building a social life in the Philippines really doesn't cost a lot of money, but this will depend on what you're doing and who you're doing it with. One takeaway from today is that some areas in the Philippines will be more enjoyable for expats than others, but this also comes down to a personal preference. I enjoyed my years living in the south of the Philippines, but it was far too quiet for me. However, Several close friends of mine who are in their 50s, 60s and 70s find the South to be the best place on earth. In most areas, you will find a host of activities and adventures, but there are also opportunities to expand yourself and even host your own event. Some expats even turn this event into a side business. If you have any questions about this topic or something I've missed, please let me know in the comments. But for those of you who are looking for more information, take a look at our next video for the latest updates about life in the Philippines.